Bears were live from Buffalo, New York with 15,000 fans jam-packed in the arena. Welcome everyone to SmackDown Live. As we kick off the... Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Holy, for the first time since being drafted, it is time to play the game. What a way to start SmackDown. For the first time since WrestleMania season, we see Triple H on television. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, the game, Triple H. Ladies and gentlemen, this I, 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 it's not even in my notes. I don't, I, I have no words to describe how I feel about the game showing up on SmackDown Live. For those I don't know, in last season's WWE Draft after WrestleMania, on a special edition of Main Event, Triple H, among other superstars, was drafted to SmackDown Live. And this is the first time we're seeing the game on the blue brand. This is actually Triple H's first time being on SmackDown here in Universe Mode. Triple H was on Raw for the past three seasons. Triple H, a former two-time WWE Champion in Universe Mode history. It is, everybody's on their feet. It's under the 50 50 split. For the first time in Universe Mode history, the game is on SmackDown Live. I mean, it's about time, eh? It's about time that Triple H is on the blue brand. You see, I used to be on Monday Night Raw, but then I got drafted. Right after WrestleMania was over. Hell, I wasn't even a part of WrestleMania. I'm still a little hurt about that, but outside of that, I have not been on this show yet because I felt like it wasn't the time. It wasn't the time for the game to be on this show yet. I needed to get in shape. I needed some time to clear my mind plus I am an executive here at WWE so I decided to take time off and not only clear my mind and get in shape and handle business for the WWE now it is time to play the game and everybody in the back needs to realize that I'm not here just to give advice or help out others talent or help out all the superstars in the back men and women no I am the game the king of kings is coming for his throne that's right no mistake about it I am after the WWE championship it's been far too long since I've held the WWE title but you know what before I get to that, we got Survivor Series coming up. And I want to be a part of Survivor Series. Since I'm on SmackDown, I want to be a part of Team SmackDown Live for Survivor Series. That way, I can save Mick Foley's job. And that way, I can secure everyone that I am the game. That I am that damn good and I am Chippy Chip material. Well, Triple H seems focused as he'll be in action here tonight. Here comes Bray Wyatt, the eater of worlds, a former WWE champion of his own right. 
Bray Wyatt. The maniacal eater of worlds making his way towards the ring. Triple H making a surprise appearance here on SmackDown. And how fitting that the man that he once faced before is coming after the game tonight. For those that don't know, in Universe Mode in Season 2 in 2K16, Triple H was once taken out by the Wyatt family. The Wyatt family took Triple H out of commission for a couple of weeks towards months, and then Triple H would return after SummerSlam that season and would come after Bray Wyatt. Triple H would have a match with Bray Wyatt at Night of Champions in a tables match. They ended their feud at Unforgiven in a Hell in a Cell match along with Seth Rollins and Braun Strowman. So tonight, these two men are going to renew their feud once again here tonight. Both men have something in common. Both two-time former WWE champions here in Universe Small history. Bray Wyatt used to have the world in his hands, but nowadays he seems more quiet than ever. And that can make a man very, very dangerous. When a man is quiet and he keeps his thoughts in his mind, he lets action speak for himself. And it, it's a sight you do not want to see, especially from Bray Wyatt. Matchups on the way to begin SmackDown here in Buffalo. Got up a time to a waist lock by Wyatt now. Wyatt got the game. And Triple H got, got Bray Wyatt able to take him down with a waist lock. And now Triple H seems to be in control so far. But no, wait a minute. Wyatt able to turn it around. But no, Triple H with a chin lock applied. And the game driving the knee to the spine of Wyatt. And now Triple H with a neck breaker as well. The game looking to make a statement tonight. And oh, got the spike out of the corner. Backbreaker to follow. Triple H doing some damage to the spine. That's why he is called the Cerebral Assassin. Look at Wyatt. Back suplex. Back suplex there by Bray Wyatt. And now Wyatt seems to be in control so far. But the game able to turn it around with a fireman's carry. Making a statement is the game. Says that he's not here to give advice or help superstars out. Look at him take back his throne. Look at him become WWE Champion once again. So we have a lot of people after the WWE title on SmackDown. You got Goldberg. You got Triple H now. Chris Jericho. Dean Ambrose. And don't forget... The man who's going to get a rematch one day in Kevin Owens. Covered by Bray Wyatt and a kick out by the game. So AJ Styles may be in big trouble. Wait a minute, Triple H took him down. Able to take down Wyatt with an STO. And Triple H said he wants to be a part of Survivor Series. Representing SmackDown Live. The game looking to go on and save Mick Foley's job, perhaps, at the Thanksgiving tradition in Survivor Series. Shots to the gut there by the game. And now Triple H got him up, javelin position, got him in trouble. No! Plants him throw first. And the game feels that the end may be near for the Eater of Worlds. A man that used to have the world in his hands. As Wyatt blocks off the top. Off the top rope. And now Triple H trying to go for a bell to belly. But Wyatt able to counter. And the down schools line by the game. An explosive clothesline coming out from Triple H. Wyatt went outside the ring, came back inside the ring. And now Triple H got Wyatt here off the ropes. Knee buster. Triple H with that knee buster to the face of Wyatt. Sister Abigail. Sister Abigail by Wyatt. He got a down and a shoulder up by the game. Triple H able to kick out the Sister Abigail. Reverse atomic drop. 
Another game. Got him here. Spine buster. Double A spine buster by the game. And now Bray Wyatt in trouble. Getting flashbacks from 2K16. Triple H down there. Pedigree. Triple H looking to make sure that Bray Wyatt got his pedigree checked. Triple H making it clear that the game is Here back. Is winner, the game, Triple H. That may be just the beginning of what's to come for everyone else on the roster. The King of Kings looking to come back for his throne. The Cerebral Assassin, the game, Triple H with a win tonight. The King of Kings stands tall. Well, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, in our main event, later on tonight, in a tag team match, it's going to be the champions, John Cena and AJ Styles versus the former champions in Kurt Angle and Kevin Owens. Massive tag team match in our main event later on on SmackDown. As we're back here on SmackDown Live, Getting ready for some women's tag team action. Here comes Miss Money in the Bank. Introducing first, from Dallas, Texas, she is Mrs. Money in the Bank, Ember Moon. Ember Moon making her way towards the ring. Ember Moon once told me that she was planning on cashing in Money in the Bank last week on this on the first episode of SmackDown Live in Season 5, but she decided to change her mind because she realized if she did cash in Money in the Bank, she would have to go up against Nia Jax and Bayley at Survivor Series. So Emma Moon, in my mind, making a, a wise choice of not cashing in so soon. As Emma Moon in this tag team match, they're going to team up with the boss in Sasha Banks. A fan favorite tonight and in her Buffalo. From Boston, Massachusetts, Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks has been trying to go after the women's title for so long. The last time she had a title opportunity was all the way back at WWE Elimination Chamber pay per view, the most successful pay per view of all season four in Universe Mode history. But Sasha Banks able to come up short, especially at Unforgiven where she couldn't beat Nia Jax and Ember Moon to get the job done and become the more contender for Survivor Series. Nia Jax became the more contender that night and Unforgiven. And now Sasha, they're going to regroup. Maybe she might be a part of the women's Survivor Series match. I mean, Sasha Banks was a part of Survivor Series last year. She had a Survivor Series team of her own, but lost to Team McMahon. And there comes... The Riot Squad. Accompanied by Ruby Riot, Liv Morgan, and Sarah Logan. The Riot Squad. Here comes the Riot Squad. A unique trio. All different personalities. All forged into one. It kind of makes this group a bit unstoppable if you ask me. Ruby Riot got a big win over Nia Jax last week on SmackDown. And now tonight, her friends, I guess, will be in action against Moon and Banks and Logan and and Morgan. Here we go. Matchup is on the way as Morgan leads up this matchup. Again, number one, shot to the back of the knee there. And then trying to go for a nasty elbow, but the Morgan got out the way with a kick to the gut as well. And now, Ember with a no like suplex, didn't hold it down for a pin though. Realizing that it's too early in the match to go for a pin, that Moon, but oh! Swinging neck breaker there by Liv Morgan. And now look at Morgan though. They're gonna go for a submission move early in this matchup. Moon is in trouble at the moment, but Moon able to turn it around. Moon's got a jaw of uh, Liv Morgan there. Looking to punch the blue out of Morgan's tongue and a kick there by Ember Moon there. Able to take down Morgan for the time being. That kick to the gut got her here. But a fly, no count. A lot of feet did Morgan. Impressive, but got her in the corner. Does Ember in the double knees. 
able to get the double knees on the Liv Morgan. As this matchup is all about the Riot Squad, they're going to show what they are all about here tonight, especially against top talents like Miss Money in the Bank, the first ever Miss Money in the Bank in history. The Sinam in Ember Moon and the boss Sasha Banks. And now Ember Moon got Liv Morgan in the corner. And again, running knees to the abdomen of Morgan. And now trying to bring Morgan into the corner. Snapmare takedown and a kick to the spine. But Morgan got up to her feet. And now Liv got Ember Moon in the corner here. As now she makes a tag. Here comes Sarah Logan. Logan and Morgan. Double team back body drop. Now it's Sarah Logan's turn to dish out some pain on the Ember Moon. Got caught in the tree of wall, but able to get out that predicament there. She missed what she was going for, and then her leg got caught in the tree of wall position. Shot to the gut there by Sarah Logan. And oh, oh. I mean, Logan's uh, put off the southern territory of the United States. So no doubt about it, she's going to be more devastating in the match but as this matchup rolls on as Ember Moon and Banks in control can the Rod Squad rebound at WWE Survivor Series pay-per-view both Raw and Smackdown not only will be under one roof but they'll be going at it in head-to-head -head competition who will be the most dominant brand the A show in WWE Universe Mode history, would it be Raw or SmackDown? Leave your thoughts. Don't miss Survivor Series. As we're back here on SmackDown Live, Sarah Logan in the cover though. Hooks the leg on the Sasha Banks. Two count. Able to kick out. And again, Morgan takes care of Moon inside the ring. Back on SmackDown with the White Squad in control at the moment over Banks and Moon. As Sir Logan and Liv Morgan are holding their own in this match. You don't want to underestimate the rookies here tonight on SmackDown. You don't want to judge a book by its cover as Sir Logan got Banks here and plants her down. Fisherman Driver. A Fisherman Driver there by Sir Logan. And I'll try to go for a Fisherman Suplex perhaps. No counter. Banks got her down. Big small package, able to kick out the Logan. I don't know if that was a rookie mistake or just Banks able to outsmart Logan with the uh, small package counter and oh! Launched her out the corner. And now Banks back in the match. Deep arm drag takedown. And now, oh, form shot to the face by Banks. As it may be indeed boss time tonight on SmackDown as Sasha Banks holds line. And another one. And Banks on the roll. Running calf kick by Banks. Able to take down Logan. Able to do some damage. Mick Logan Dave. No, Mick Logan. Oh, plants it down. I was trying to say Mick Logan Dave. As, uh, wait a minute, Ruby right now. Distracting Sasha Banks. Logan on her feet from behind German suplex. And now Logan makes the tag to Morgan, but Banks crawling towards Miss Money the Bank. Makes the tag. Here comes Ember Moon. Moon with a kick. Full of steam, but that time Morgan countered. Outside the ring she goes. Back inside the ring. Drop kick by Moon. Morgan up to her feet. Flight form. And now Ember Moon. Full out of steam with those kicks. And now, oh, no, oh! Morgan takes it down with a leg sweep. And now trying to go for a vicious elbow. But number one sock kind of got her in the corner here. Dominique's that time got the way to Morgan. Well scouted. Received that move already twice in this match. Able to move out the way that time. And lost the throw first. And now, oh, trying to go for a maneuver. Maybe try to go for her Karana perhaps. I don't know, but didn't look good. And then, oh, wait a minute. Moon trying to go for a splash, but didn't realize that Morgan was way too close to the ropes. And now 
Look at Morgan. Bucky flip at the corner. Ember Moon with that miscommunication there. She thought Morgan was in position for a, a, a crossbody. But not the case. And oh wait. Morgan. She got Ember Moon. A unique version of a geek. Team locked in. But Moon with the shots in the back. And able to get her off of her. Kicks and I got, got her downstairs. Trying to go for oh wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Morgan countered. Sunset flip. Sunset flip, got it down! Moon countered, turned it around, got it down too! And a kick out! What a tag match! But look at that out! Paid dividends, does Ruby Riot able to give Liv Morgan an opportunity to take advantage and take down Miss Money in the Bank? Morgan is talking trash to Bank, so that may be a rookie mistake, but who knows? Kick to the gut! Off the road goes Morgan here. Morgan, oh, double knees to the face of Moon. Cover, hooks the leg, and the Riot Squad done it. The Riot Squad with a win. Morgan just pinned this money in the here bank. Are your winners, Liv Morgan and Sarah Logan. The Riot Squad the standing Riot tall Squad. tonight on SmackDown Live. What a win! Coming up next, I'm going to be in action. And I'm going to send AJ Styles a certain message that I am coming after the WWE title. And I'm going to show everybody what I'm going to do to him when I face the big show. Next on SmackDown. Goldberg in action, live! Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. He plans on sending a message to the WWE Champion. Here comes the icon, the innovator of the spear. A man that was, un that was once undefeated and held the WCW World, Heavy World Heavyweight and WCW United States title. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, Weighing in at 270 pounds, Goldberg! Here comes a man that will love nothing more than the Spear AG Styles in half and get the jackhammer ready to become the WWE Champ. But we have a lot of things going on. So at this point, it's not about the WWE title. It's all about brand supremacy when it comes to Survivor Series. Will Goldberg play a factor in the Survivor Series? Will he be a part of SmackDown Live's team along with Triple H? But we're going to find out as weeks go on as we're only four weeks away from the Thanksgiving tradition in Survivor Series. Tonight, Goldberg goes one-on-one -on -one with the world's largest athlete. The Big Show, a former dominant United States Champion here tonight. A former WCW rival for Goldberg. The only man to hold the WCW, the WWE, and ECW World Championships. Standing seven feet tall, weighing in at 385 pounds, the Big show. The Big Show, a man that is loved and hated in this business. Some fans love him, they like to see him. Some fans despise him and wish that he, re he would retire in WWE. But The Big Show, he seems in good shape. Things have been getting into good shape within the past year or two. And now tonight, we're gonna test all of his strength, all of his abilities in his new in-shape body against the former world champion and Goldberg tonight. Here we go, Goldberg, big show. A big match in Buffalo. Matchup is underway, two former WCW legends in my opinion. And oh God, shot there by Big Show. And Big Show with a clothesline. The speed of Big Show, no doubt, has upgraded to another level. As Big Show took him down with a snapmare and a shot to the side of the skull. 
Make sure I managed to weigh about 485 to 500 pounds to now 385 pounds. Impressive by the world's largest athlete. And Goldberg got him down the corner. Stomp after stomp to the face. And now what the... Who the hell? What? AJ Styles! The WWE Champion! Look at him make an appearance! But where is he? Goldberg ready for him, but... Oh, wait a minute! From behind! Shades of... I believe last week or two weeks ago! Styles! Styles clash! On the Goldberg! And the referee didn't see it! Big Show crawling to take advantage! Hooks the leg on the icon! Got it down! No, the shoulder up by Goldberg! AJ Styles did exactly what Goldberg did weeks ago. But the difference is, Goldberg, he could connect the jackhammer because Styles countered. This time, Styles able to connect with the Styles Clash and Big Show with a suplex. And now Big Show shot out the shot to the face of Goldberg. And the Goldberg with a big boot took down the Giant. I don't know how Goldberg is now after receiving that Styles Clash. Referee did not see if he saw it. No doubt the disqualification would have been made cover by Goldberg. But Big Show able to kick out, able to force Goldberg off of him. Kick to the gut by Goldberg. Got him here and plants him. My God, the strength of Goldberg with the butterfly suplex. But Big Show counters. Big Show said that the time. Oh, what, what the? Where the hell is? Oh my God, Big Show. There's no freaking way. From the top, Big Show. Oh, dropping the elbow. When was the last time? Have we ever seen the Big Show go up top like that before? I don't think so. And now Goldberg got the giant here, and oh my god, launched him across the ring! Big Show on the outside for a quick breather, but Goldberg, they're gonna not make him breathe, and a takedown! Like a build a belly suplex by Goldberg, able to take down the giant! Face first on the apron, he goes! My god, trying to go for a kick there! That same kick that injured Bret Hart! Back in WCW by Goldberg as Big Show able to sidestep him and took him down with that STO. Got a five. My God, Fish is right there. I don't want to say that's the WMD because normally when Big Show goes for the WMD, he charges his fist and then knocks him out. And a Big Show with a spear. How fitting. Goldberg in trouble. And a kick and a two by Goldberg from the spear by the giant and oh there you go he charging it up Goldberg in trouble W no missed it Big Show missed the WMD Goldberg able to duck a bullet no doubt kick out by Big Show Goldberg able to dodge the, uh, the biggest bullet he's ever seen in his life known as the Big Show's fist oh wait a minute there's no way trying to go for the jackhammer Big Show countered and a close line. What a match. The direction of this match changed after AJ Styles able to add his two cents in his match. WMD. Weapon of fast destruction. The Giant takes down Goldberg. Got him. Oh my God. God! Big Show was primer ready Here to knock out winner, Goldberg. The, Big Show. the Giant stands tall tonight on SmackDown. My God! What a punch to the face of Goldberg! You're new to the channel? Click the subscribe button and the notification bell where you'll never miss any videos from this channel. Tonight, it's me and AJ Styles, two champions teaming up against Owens and Angle, two former champions. Will me and AJ be able to coexist? Well, we must in order for us to stand tall tonight.
As we're back here on SmackDown Live, John Cena seems focused and hoping to be on the same page with AJ Styles to go up against Kevin Owens and Kurt Angle. Alicia Fox is going to be in action as she goes one-on-one -on -one with the irresistible and unstoppable force in Nia Jax. The unstoppable force making her way towards the ring. That should be in action against Foxy tonight. We're gonna gain some momentum heading towards Survivor Series. We should be facing Bailey for the women's title. Past couple of weeks, Bailey and Nia Jax have been getting involved in each other's business a little bit. Nia Jax had to deal with the Riot Squad last week. As Alicia Fox, I don't know if she's ready. She goes one on one with Nia Jax. Bell strong, and here we go. Shot to the gut there by Fox. Nice takedown there by Jax. And now Jax got Fox in the corner, spiked out the corner, but Fox is gonna fight back. Iris Swift spiked out of the corner, kick to the gut there. Foxy realizes that she needs to put down Jax immediately. DDT there by Alicia Fox. And now, oh, nice counter by Jax. Fireman's carry takedown. And now, wait a minute. Speaking of Bailey, she's not scheduled to be here tonight. She'll be on SmackDown next week, but not tonight in Buffalo. I guess the guy in the, the PA. Uh -oh. Wait a minute. From behind, Bailey. Bailey to Bailey on the Nia Jax. Bailey taking down Jax. Fox are gonna capitalize! Form across the chat to get in a kick out! Oh my god, that's the second time we've seen that tonight! Nia Jax almost lost to Alicia Fox thanks to Bailey! With the bell the belly trying to go for a running knee! And now, oh wait, wait a minute! Oh, tick her down to Alicia Fox, shot to the face. Oh no, ducked it! Alicia Fox down! See if that she's, she found an opening since Bailey got involved in the match. Oh! And now Alicia Fox. Oh! Smart. Attacking Nia Jax. Doing what she can to get a win over Jax. And a kick out. Just to keep on attacking her. That's the best way you can get the job done. Especially against someone of the size of Nia Jax. But the unstoppable force coming back with a vengeance in this matchup. Releasing her anger on Alicia Fox. Now that Bailey's out of the arena. Again, she was not scheduled to be here tonight. She's scheduled for next week, but not tonight. As SmackDown Live will be in Montreal next week. On, on, as Nia Jax. Still not feeling well. Not at all. Nia Jax though again. Two wicked deadlift power bombs. And Nia Jax with a leg drop for good measure. And now Alicia Fox is in trouble. Nia Jax got her. Samoan drop. The unstoppable force. Samoan drop. Hooks the leg. And a kick out. You gotta be kidding me. Are you serious? There is life. There is fight in, a, in Alicia Fox. How the hell do you suffer all those moves from Nia Jax and still be able to come back? Wait a minute, Jax up top. Oh God. We saw the big show up top. Now Jax is up top for the first time. And then, oh no, my God, countered. Alicia Fox counted into a power slam and another light suplex. What the hell am I seeing here? Cover! But Jax able to kick out. How the hell did Foxy catch her in a power slam position? And then another light suplex right after. And now trying to go for a clothesline. Able to catch Jax though. Took her down. The crowd not liking. The Alicia Fox now. Kick to the gut. 
Foxy with an X kick. X kick into the cover. Hooks the leg. And a kick out by Nia Jax. The unstoppable force. Not going down without a fight. This is exactly what Bailey has to go up against at Survivor Series. Oh god, what a knee. Driving a knee to the side of the head there. Then Alicia Fox went for it. I think she got it with, an up, with a headbutt there. And now, off the rope she goes. Got her. Nope, kick to the gut again. And now DDT to follow! Alicia Fox now reaching to that desperate state in this match. What the hell could she do? She had an assist with, from Bailey with the belly to belly. The axe kick didn't work. And oh! Drop kicking Jax to the outside. Fox feeling frisky on the top rope. And oh my god, she missed Nia Jax completely. I think she's trying to go for a senton, but my god, that has to do a lot of damage to your spine. But Nia Jax is fighting back. But Fox is trying to keep the match in her direction. Got a forward by the referee on the outside. And Alicia with a poke to the eye. And again, Foxy with an advantage. After that poke in the eye. Ramming her shoulder first into the post. It's a do or die situation for Alicia Fox in this match. No doubt about it, I believe Fox may be tired of being overlooked. Showing that she should be. Take it seriously. Another axe kick. Another axe kick by Foxy. Hooks the leg. And she got the win. Alicia Fox got the win over Nia Jax. Here is your winner, Alicia Fox. Alicia Fox stands tall over the unstoppable force. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, our main event, Cena and Styles. Can they coexist as they go up against the former champions in Angle and Owens live next in Buffalo, New York? Can they coexist? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Tag Team Main Event on SmackDown. Here we go. The former three-time champ. Introducing first, from Maryville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens has accomplished a lot in universe mode within the past Three seasons, multi-time Intercontinental Champion, multi-time WWE Champion, Kevin Owens, without a doubt, is going to cash in his rematch clause for the WWE Championship. We just don't know when, especially with Survivor Series coming up in the next couple of weeks. We don't know what's in the frame of mind uh, for Kevin Owens. But we do know for this man, the wrestling and machine. His partner, from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 237 pounds, Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle, a former Intercontinental Champion here in Universe Mode. Kurt Angle, I mean, a dominant Intercontinental Champion last season for winning the championship at No Mercy from John Cena all the way. John Cena beating Kurt Angle only two weeks ago on SmackDown Live. We got prize fighter Kevin Owens and Olympic hero in Kurt Angle. Two men who had a classic match on SmackDown weeks ago. Teaming up to fight not only the AJ Styles WWE Champion but also the Intercontinental Champion. The champ is here in John Cena. As always, the crowd is 50-50, but no doubt about it. And their opponents, first, from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 
151 pounds, the Intercontinental Champion, John Cena. Like I was saying, JoJo, without a doubt that John Cena has earned a lot of respect from everybody in the WWE. John Cena is trying his best to use the Intercontinental title to elevate his career to go after the WWE title, but suddenly, as of late, not really working into John Cena's favor. But there comes a man who's been so successful for the first time in season five. We see the WWE Champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles here tonight in action in the main event. And his partner from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the WWE Champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles able to realize the dream and unforgiven able to finally win his first ever WWE Championship for a man has held the Impact World title, the New Japan IWGP title, and now the WWE title, AJ Styles, without a doubt, is a legend in this business, but tonight, AJ Styles must focus. Cena asked a question earlier tonight, can he coexist with AJ Styles? We're gonna find out tonight. We're gonna find out now. In our main event, no more breaks. This matchup is on the way. Owens and Cena, no doubt about it, have history here in Universe Mode. And John Cena taking down, taking like Boston Crab. As the crowd here in Buffalo behind John Cena. But Owens able to fight out of the hole. When Kevin Owens first arrived in WWE, Kevin Owens went up against John Cena. At Survivor Series, it was Team Owens versus Team Cena. Winning team will get an opportunity at the world title of their brand as Kevin Owens, that knee breaker. And now Owens slamming the head on the mat of John Cena. And now Kevin Owens now with a counter clutch, but I think it was too close to the, ref to, to the, to the ropes there in Cena. Kevin Owens did defeat John Cena in their first one-on-one -on -one encounter on pay-per-view at the TLC pay-per-view the following month in that same season. Here comes Angle, and now Angle, bear the belly suplex by Cena. Angle receives a bear the belly by Cena himself, and now John Cena makes a tag. Here comes the phenomenal AJ Styles. Kurt Angle, also one of the few men that's after the WWE Championship. How the hell is Styles gonna be able to handle this scenario? And now Styles able to take down Angle. Got him down, taking that Boston Crab. There is not one submission move that Angle, that Angle does not know how to get out of. There's not one. There's Kurt Angle, the, the wrestling machine. As he plants Styles with that backbreaker. And now, oh God. The shot there by Angle. And a stomp for good measure. And oof. Big job bringing up by Stars and a running drop kick. The crowd seems a bit 50 50. Cheering for Angle. Maybe booing for AJ, but maybe he might be the other way around tonight. Styles able to counter that power bomb attempt by Angle. But Angle got Styles in the corner. Do I even need to mention the history between Angle and... Oh! Nice double super kick by Owens and Angle. As Owens in a headbutt. Now Owens got Styles in the corner. Oh my God. Styles able to stop himself from going to the corner again. But Owens caught it from behind. And now Kevin Owens got the arm of Styles. Do I even need to mention the history? between Kevin Owens and AJ Styles for the WWE Championship and more. And I got him here. Nice switch to the driver. And Styles up to his finger clothesline in the corner. 
No, no wonder this man is the WWE Champion, but Owens, we're gonna make people realize that Owens should have never lost the title to begin with. All right, now Irish Whip over the top rope, hanging on. And now, oh, shot there by KO. And now Owens back inside the ring. And now Kevin Owens now. Got Styles in the corner. Owens has, has something else in mind. Kick to the gut. What is he gonna do here? And Styles now got, no! Styles got launched there by KO. And now Owens, receiving a chance. Killer was killed by the crowd. Good grief. As Owens now, got Styles in the corner. Owens has something brewing for the WWE Champion. But Styles with a clothesline. And now AJ, oh wait, 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 AJ Styles, cap crusher. But Owens is close to the ropes. AJ Styles made Bray Wyatt tap out weeks ago on SmackDown to the Cow Crusher. So he might he could have got the win there against KO in this situation, but able to get to the ropes. And now Kevin Owens! Oh! Pump handle neckbreaker! Pump handle neckbreaker there by Owens! But Styles coming back with an uppercut! Kick to the gut, got him down. And now Styles, pump handle, good buster! It's like a war of the gut of the pump handle maneuvers by Kevin Owens and AJ Styles! And now Kevin Owens looking to put away Styles. Kick to the gut. Got him here. Pop up. Power bomb. Kevin Owens. Pop up. Power. Power bomb by Kevin Owens. Hooks the leg. Got him. And Cena got involved. And Cena able to get to the to the ropes real quick onto the apron. And now Kevin Owens trying to get up. Find a way to put away Styles, and now Styles are gonna put away Owens. I'll never forget an episode of SmackDown where Styles actually defeated Owens with his own maneuver, the pump up power bomb, and now Styles got counted and out! Pump had a neck breaker once again! And now KO got him in the corner, clothesline! And now Styles crawling towards Cena, and he makes the tag! Here comes the Intercontinental Champ! Running shoulder tackle. And again. And a third one there. And now Angle trying to get the tag, but Owens got blocked there by Cena. But Owens took down Cena. And now Cena with a clothesline. It's John Cena. Oh, no, 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 no. Owens counters. What attack matches? This is our main event on SmackDown Live next week. We'll have Bailey in action on SmackDown. Randy Orton is going to return to SmackDown Live next week as well. Jeff Hardy will be in action against Jinder Mahal. Jinder Mahal making his way back to SmackDown Live next week. A lot happening on the blue brand in Montreal next week on SmackDown. And Cena now, looking to send Kevin Owens to SmackDown Live next week with an attitude adjuster. But Owens countered, kick to the gut, AJ in the ring, but Kevin Owens with a pop up power bomb on the jump, Cena, into the cover, hooks the leg, got it down, can't get a two by Cena. I thought that was a big mistake there by Styles to leave the ring while Owens was planning Cena with the power bomb. At least that way he can try to save Cena there. But then, th uh, 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 Angle got involved and things change. And Cena able to block the kick. Bell to belly suplex. John Cena. Oh, shot there by Owens. Cena in trouble. Owens got him in the corner. Cena turning around. And now Cena got Owens into his corner. And now makes the tag. To AJ Styles, double team here. Drop to hold, elbow drop. I commend both teams to be able to, you know, stay together in this match. AJ Ushigaroshi planet. That fireman's carry neckbreaker. Ushigaroshi. Is, is that enough? Hooks the leg by Styles, and oh my God, angle. Angle got involved there, but 
My God, took out the referee too. And oh, Cena with a power bomb. Sunset flip power bomb. And now AJ Styles. He's seen the opportunity. Phenomenal form on the Kevin Owens. And Angle DDT on the Cena. And Angle stops Styles. Kick to the cup there by Styles. Got him here. Pump and the gut buster. Taking care of Angle. And now AJ Styles. He was at the end of this mirror for KO. Flying forearm. And another one. Here comes Styles. Pele kick. A different version of Styles' Pele kick. Styles got him. Ushi. Go Ushi once again in the match. Would that be enough? Hooks the leg. Ushi Goroshi and AJ Styles and Cena standing tall tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, what would it end? SmackDown. Are your winners, John Cena and the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles costing Goldberg a match against the Big Show and Styles standing tall tonight in Buffalo. Good night on SmackDown.